Well, hello there, dear knitters. It's February 22nd, 2015, and I'm checking in with you today. I haven't done a podcast for a long time, so I thought I would put one out today and this week. Boy, it has been very cold here in Madison. Icy, icy cold. Um, I don't know if it even reached 10 degrees yesterday. I think it's around eight degrees today or nine. Then I heard we're gonna get all the way up to 30 tomorrow, so I'm excited about it. <laughs> this past weekend I taught at the Madison Knitters Guild Knit In, which is um, a gigantic uh, event that has really evolved. I taught there a couple of years ago and there were maybe 200 people there, maybe a little bit more, and then this year they had over 500 people in attendance. Um, the Madison Knitters Guild is gigantic. It's um, 600 me members plus now in the guild and hundreds of people every meeting um, come and attend the meetings, the monthly guild meetings, and um, I'm sad to say I'm not more active in the Madison Knitters Guild, but uh, I do try to keep up and, uh, you know, check in. I've, I've spoken there a couple times, and now I've taught at the Knit-In event. Um, this will be my second time that I've taught there, so I had a very lovely time. There were some other um, top-notch teachers there. Um, Patty Lyons was there, and... Um, uh, Annie Modisit was there. I didn't actually get a chance to talk to her. I was very busy, but I saw she was selling her yarn. She also had a vendor booth, and I know she taught a class, a class or two, maybe more. I'm not, I'm not sure. Joanna Johnson was there from Slate Falls Press. She does the cute Phoebe books, the uh, Phoebe's birthday and that little, um, children's book, um, series she does it's so charming and adorable and she then designs some knits to go along with her children's stories and her husband illustrates her stories she's very sweet she seems like a kind soul very adorable <laughs> and i had a great time i had great classes the students were outstanding Super friendly, so nice and supportive. Uh, I had a very strange thing happen on Saturday afternoon. I taught four workshops and Saturday afternoon, all of a sudden my hand, my right hand started aching and hurting, just a terrible pain in my right hand. I, I just, I couldn't figure out what happened. It came on very suddenly. I actually took some ibuprofen during class. I dug some out of my bag and, and took some ibuprofen, uh, which it really didn't help much. But on Sunday, I taught again all day on Sunday, but I woke up on Sunday with a swollen um, right hand. The top of my hand had kind of lumps on it that were swollen, very swollen. And now today it is, um, and, and so painful, I could barely move my fingers, <laughs> which is not good for teaching knitting classes, but you know, me do. And, and I did actually ended up doing, it, it was fine. And I tried not to even mention it, but then by the end of the day, I had, I think knitters are so funny. I was talking to a nurse, to a knitter, and then she, she happened to say, well, she was a nurse. And then I said, can you look at my hand? <laughs> I have some weird problem going on with my hand and she checked it out and then someone else heard us talking about my hand and I didn't want to make a big deal of it but <laughs> then someone said, oh my, my sister's here and your sister-in-law or something's here and um, we'll send her into your class. She's a nurse practitioner and she can look at your hand but nobody seemed really alarmed by it. Um, there's some kind of... Um, I forgot what it's even called, but there's some sort of thing that has to do with your joint. But anyway, you can see now, and I, I really, I mean, my hands are just, oh, they don't ever look very good, <laughs> unfortunately. But um, you can see here that my, this is my, you know, my hand that's not um, swollen or anything. And I have, unfortunately, very veiny, kind of <laughs> bony, bony looking hands. I can't do anything about it. But if you look at this one, you can't even see, you know, the veins or anything. It's just, it's very swollen. Now the swelling is kind of dispersed 
itself, so I can't really do do much today. Um, it almost looks kind of bruised or something, but anyway, I think it's getting better. I can I can move my fingers a little bit more easily today, and um, it's not quite as painful. I don't know. Do you know what it is? <laughs> I should probably I should probably go in, but I thought I would give it just a day to see kind of if it if it just went away. Anyway, not, enough of that chatter. It'll be fine. Things things will go back. So here's like a weird hair sticking up here. Um, I hope you're doing well. I hope your knitting's going well. Um, I have some things I want to share with you. Um, some kind of in progress <laughs> things I've been thinking about that I need to finish and. Um, some kind of new things that I've been looking at. What I thought I would do first is kind of do a sock update, assuming that I don't have any of my socks close by. But I have this great, um, this is from Signature Needles Art, Needle Arts, and it's the um, sock blocker that actually, um, I think the point of it was to kind of hang over a shower curtain rod so you put your socks on and then it's nice because it's all open in here and then they can dry quickly and I purchased that recently and I really like it so it's kind of fun but I have these are two socks I have one done and I need to finish the other one this one's so old it's so old it's an old sunshine yarns um, just kind of a watermelon style sock so I need to finish that one for sure and um, it's still like a really soft base I don't she doesn't even do that anymore and then this one was the Gales art and I did the monkey sock um, and and um, the Gales art graffiti was it concrete and graffiti graffiti and concrete something like that um, and I need to finish that because I have one done and I have a little bit done on the second one but so now I'm now what I do is I hang these up on the wall in my studio this sock blocker and I'm gonna put socks that I need to finish the second sock on there so it's a constant reminder of what I need to finish um, which I think is kind of fun oh here's the sock here's the yarn that goes with this one this is old I mean years old so I need I really need to finish that one up so there are two fun socks that I need to finish I don't usually do that I usually will finish my socks you know pretty quickly after I finish the first one I usually am motivated to um, finish the next one. Oh, I forgot the other sock um, to this one this one I have finished the other sock this is this Regia sorry Regia color mania color and it almost looks like a hand spun it's a very marled yarn um, barber pole yarn and it knits up like this it almost looks like a watercolor it's so pretty so that one's coming right along I already have one done but I really do love the way that yarn knits up it's just lovely so that's kind of fun um, oh, I just I grabbed some different yarns that I was I've been looking at. Um, this is the Fiber Nymph Dye Works. I picked this up at the Loop U when I was there last fall, and I you know I love the mismatched socks, so these are just two mismatched colors, and it's called Cherry Slash Pink. It's Bounce Inversibles. Oh, she calls them Inversible Sets. It's eighty percent um, superwash merino 20% nylon 400 yards yeah so I'm excited about that uh, that's really pretty isn't it I think it'd be cute to have two little mismatched socks like that let me reach over here quick this is another sock yarn that I think I shared this on Instagram or maybe my blog but I'm really looking at this one I might do heel like a little cuff heel and toe in this blue Lorna's laces I just think that might be a nice combination um, fab funky fibers this is the I believe in the impossible I think it has like 20 colors or something or 22 colors in it striping so that's coming up on the bend I'm definitely going to get those going I just pulled a lot of sock yarns that I have that I kind of have in the waiting and then this is a new opal 
um, sock yarn that I just purchased not too long ago. It's Sweet and Spicy 2. And this color is Cake Pops. You can see the Cake Pops on there. But isn't that pretty? I really like all those colors in there. I think that's really pretty. So that one I definitely want to get on my needles very soon. Oh, and then the Fab Funky Fibers. I had ordered this kind of smaller sorry, smaller skein two, and that's called the Cosmopolitan. This is only, it's a 50 gram, 232 yards. So I thought maybe I would throw in this pink Regia. This has a lot of pink in it. I don't know if you can see that, but I think that might be good for maybe heels and toes. This is 115 yards. Yeah, and then this is 225. So I'd have 340 yards total, which for me is enough, I think, to make a pair of socks. So that's kind of fun. Oh, I, I was sent this um, new Regia, or Regia, design line by Arnie and Carlos. This is one of the colorways I was um, sent. You can see the lovely men right there, Arnie and Carlos with their signature. They have a new design line color um, or um, Fair Isle sock um, pattern striping sock yarn. You can kind of see what it's going to look like there. But that's, so that's what I want to get going on too. And I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I have a couple more balls of this too that I got. This isn't available. I think I think it's April that it will be in stores. So I'm excited about that. That looks like loads of fun to get going on. Oh, and then I got so excited about these. I'm going to try these sock blanks. And I ordered um, some sock blanks from Gail's Art. And here's one. And... It's um so it's a machine knit sock yarn and then she dyes it and then she prints like a secret message on it, which I think is <laughs> really fun. It's called Special Secret Socks. This is Blue Love. It's 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. You get 463, no, 463 yards. Oh, yeah, I think that's right. It's 463 yards, yeah. So there's one that I got. So so on, on these, I don't know if you're familiar with these or not, you find the end, which is right here, and then you just unravel and you knit from, from the end there. And the yarn's kind of kinky. While you're knitting, so you're gonna wanna give them a good wash or soak before you wear them. And then I also got this one. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? I'm pretty excited about that. This one's called, oh, just special. Oh, she didn't write a name on this one. I don't know what it's called. But those are really fun. So I'm excited to try that. See what happens with those. I haven't done the um, sock blanks before, so. Um, so that would be fun to try that. Um, and then I pulled a couple things that I need to finish. I, I need to really um, buckle down and finish. I have had a lot of um, work stuff knitting. So, I mean, that's probably why my hand um, exploded on me. <laughs> because I've been typing, writing so much and knitting so much. And... Um, you know, there's only so much your your um, body can take, I think. So that's probably why that happened. Um, oh, so one thing I need to finish that I keep looking at is my um, lefty shawl. And I have good progress on it. I just need to get it done. It's a Miss Babs kit um, that I'm using. And it's in like a gray, a beautiful gray color. And then... It moves into um, different colors of 
red, kind of almost purple. Isn't that pretty? Now I've had it scrunched up in a bag for a long time, so it's not really laying very nicely, but I think this one right here is where I had 20 of the little leaves. <laughs> so uh, I was kind of counting to see how many I got, but I still have quite a bit left of the yarn. Here's the gray. I have a lot left. And then I have, I showed this before. This was a fun kit from Miss Babs, who does kits like no other, but then I got, you know, all these little balls and skeins. So that I need to finish. I really enjoy that too. Knitting that, it's kind of fun. So that is on the docket to finish. And here's this other one. This one's about two years old now. <laughs> it's just terrible. Oh, to have something that old, but I'm on. This is the Dots shawl, and in fact, I saw a woman wearing a very stunning version of this shawl um, at the um, Knit-In this weekend, and oh, boy, did she look pretty in that. But I'm actually on the lace um, applied edging already. I'm doing Madeline Tosh, so I'm on the edging. So if I could just sit down and crank out that edging, but isn't that pretty, those colors? It's tart and, I don't remember what the other one's called, Title Tart and Tidal Basin. It's lovely, beautiful shawl. So it'll look good, right? <laughs> so, I don't know, I gotta finish it, I love it, I really do. I don't know why I stopped, actually. I know, just probably busy with other things, I think, so that's kind of fun. And I have some other um, just fun things to share. Oh, and as far as sock yarn, so I'm knitting a shawl out of the Come What May um, sock um, yarn in the opul opulence base um, by Jala Spiral of Knit Circus. This is beautiful. And then I also have the um, sock yarn, the gradient sock yarn set. So she winds them and in two balls in the come what may color so i'm going to also be doing a pair of socks in those come what may opulent sock which is 10 percent cashmere 10 percent nylon and 80 percent superwash merino come what may so i'll wear my shawl and my socks <laughs> I'll, I'll be total come what may from you know shoulders to toes <laughs> so that'll be fun um yeah, and then I had just a couple fun little knitting bags that I, I picked up from, of course, one of my favorite little skein, um, little skein in the big wall. And, oh, I put a little teacup on there that didn't come with it, but I had, or teapot, I should say. I had that from her, from some other something or other, I can't remember. And then the inside is that. But this is a nice, it's a big bag. Pretty excited about that. So, little Fair Isle yoked sweaters. I couldn't really resist that. I want. I really love that. And then this is something a little bit different. This is the um, twig prints, and it's like a, a little bucket and it's linen. And I'm just a sucker for linen. I love it, and I've already been filling this up with things. So it's linen, cotton, blanch shell 100% cotton lining spot clean and dry clean twigprints.com twig prints and here's her little logo isn't that nice just to have at home and I plop all my projects and my cute sock yarn in there even just to store stuff it's it's a good one I think so, isn't that cute? Right? <laughs> so, I like it a lot. That's this nice, sturdy um, bag, which I always need. And, uh, oh, and then last but not least, well, I have two, two quick things. This Lowland Originals, um, lowlandoriginals.etsy.com, Renee. She sent a cute little card, you know, blank card to use too. But I ordered one of her bags and then 
um, she sent me two bags to use, so I was really excited about that. But, oh my gosh, are these nice? Look at, and you know what attracted me to this is just that I love the mismatched fabric. I love it. And then look at the inside. Lowland Originals little dotted fabric. And then she does these little um, cord um, pulls, which that's my favorite thing. That's like Joanna of Knitspin Farm does that. And I love the fabric. She's a really sturdy fabrics. Um, this one has just a cord pull on it. I think this is the one maybe she threw in for me to have, which was very sweet of her. And I think she, oh, now I'm forgetting if she's from Sweden, the Netherlands. She says, thank you, enjoy. She sent a little card. This is like a little map that she sent. She made an envelope, a homemade envelope. This is the kind of stuff I love. It says, handmade from the heart. <laughs> it's cute. Lowland Originals. Is she from the Netherlands? I can't remember. But somewhere like that. So she's very sweet. She sent me a little. Or is it Norway? Holland. I wonder if she's from Holland. She sent me a little wooden um, clog, too, with a, one of these little lobster claw things on it. So, I don't know. Pretty cute. Um, so that's fun. And then the last thing I was going to show you today is from um, Fringe, um, Fringe Supply Company. Um, has these great design. It's called Fashionary. And I posted one of the, I, I haven't had much time to work on it, but I posted um, just some quick sweater design drawings that I did. Um, so I drew these. It's a sketchbook. And um, you get this lined, I hope you'll be able to see it. Do you, can you see on there? You can see a figure is like on, it with dots, like really faint dots. I think you can kind of see it, but they're on the page. So they're like this. Actually, there's another figure here that I didn't fill in, but it gives you kind of a guide. You see, it's like that, but it's on in, in red dots. <laughs> but anyway, I just thought that was really fun. Um, so that's about it. Nothing too much left. Left. Oh, here's just from Renee from Lowland Originals. I don't know if you can tell what language that is. I know maybe it's not even going to focus in. <laughs> but anyway. All right. So I hope you're well. Um, this is the Yowza Way It Shawl um, number two. Yowza Way It Two. And I have it tied behind my back. So I just, now I untied it. But I love it when it's so cold. I just throw that on. And I wear it around my house. I love it so much. It's just cute. It has a little kind of textury ruffle at the bottom, very easy lace um, edging there. I'm working on Yowza shawl number three, but I don't have it done yet. I haven't quite had enough time to get it finished, so. But that will be coming, so. Anyway, I hope you are all well. Uh, I hope you're having a good February. March is right around the corner. The year's flying by, the school year. And um, wish me luck with my swollen hand. <laughs> I think it's on the mend already. I really do. So, all right, dear knitters. I love you guys. Have a good day. Bye.